Hello sir, my name is Dhawal Pandav. I am from collegeunder.com. A very warm welcome to our interview series, which is called Thoughts on Education, where we interview with the various student levels, such as owners, nieces, principals, residents and teachers. Before I proceed with this interview, I would request you to give a brief introduction about yourself. Sir. Myself, Dr. Mayu Dube. I started my journey uh, from the financial market. So I am also uh, covered the uh, Indian market. Indian stock financial market all across the globe. So I was one of the participants uh, into the Commonwealth uh, at Vietnam and also being served with the president of India Kandula Patel to uh, go to the layoffs and we give a huge amount of funding now that country develops in uh, dominant with a very uh, fastest growing economy. So then I uh, traveled every year for the, uh, to represent the Indian growth story all across the globe. Then we traveled in 2008 to the United Arab Emirates, where we decided to settle our own ventures in that part of the world because that is the venue we are there to decide to just start our journey into the collaborations. So in that part, the Indian consulate, Mr. Rock Mission, helped give us a huge confidence to just start our my companies there and just do to promote our investment into the Indian side. I settled the idea from the past 12 years. It was really nice knowing about you and your experience. Huh? So my first question is, uh, you have held key position at education institute throughout your professional career, sir. So what keeps you connected with the education sector? And how has been your experience so far with this college? Actually, uh, I, uh, as I mentioned that I also traveled to the financial markets, uh, to the financial industry. But uh, my roots are from the education line. My father was a founder by Chancellor uh, of the IIT University. They uh, started their, uh, their journey from the DHU. So then, from initially uh, in my bloods, there is a uh, education system, is, uh, you know, going on. So then I decided to just to, after settling my ship uh, into Dubai, then I decided to serve back to the nation because in, uh, the scenario has been changed towards India since 2014. So after the 2014 government is trying to change uh, some education system. So that's why they come up with the NEP 2020. And the another part they were, uh, come up with the, uh, to promote a startup ecosystem and so much more focusing on to the entrepreneurship. So that is the key element when it comes into the picture that is uh, in India itself, the government is pushing up to this create a uh, startup and environment, uh, entrepreneurship system. Then we decided to just give it back to society with our experience and provide a good amount of the funding of the, uh, our new startups. Uh, being the director at Sri L. R. Kumari College of Engineering, what are your roles and responsibilities, sir? My uh, roles are here, to, I only settle here, the only purpose is just collaborate with the foreign institution and just to upgrade this is uh, group onto the international uh, map. So that's why when I will join this, then I will settle with the uh, State University of New York in the I know one of the MOU, which is the largest university in the USA. And uh, on the another part, we uh, do an MOU with the Skyline University of Sharjah. And uh, another, so every quarter of my aim is just, you know, every month we have to collaborate with any of the uh, foreign universities because after the implementation of any 2014, there is a mandatory that there is the one task that you can collaborate with the foreign universities and being an exchange program. Then we do a MOU with the Nigerian University and we are also in the pipeline to the uh, sign MOU with the Synergy University of the Russia, Moscow. How do you strategize about the key program and plan for the marketing and admissions of your college? Uh, as I mentioned, you we also uh, set up an incubation center in our campus. So being an incubation center, we want to create a startup uh, culture. So that's why uh, the main reason I've been here. So for the foreign collaboration and creating an incubation center, we start to give a funding to the, some of the startups. That's why in each of every institution, we try to set up on the initial level IAC, which is called an Institute Innovation Council. So Institute Innovation Council is a basic council which is set up on the student level to create some enthusiasm into the students which can come up with their ideas. So then the journey starts from the IACs, then we set up a pre-incubation center 
We also sign an MOU with the Maharashtra State Skill University, which uh, offers us a pre incubation center. From the pre incubation center, then again, that idea comes into the incubation center where we can provide them a funding. So, on the each level, we want to because in the startup journey, the inflow is that uh, if the idea cannot be come up with a fund uh, support, so that uh, the startup journey will be end soon. So, that's why I always thank to the government that which is coming with the policy that on the idea level, you are ready to get, uh, get a funding from this uh, startup seed fund. On the seed level, the government is uh, providing a, a funding for the SIA trust. Then on the, the ideation level, then on the uh, POC level, then on the product level. So these are all my key areas basically where we are trying to connect it and uh, provide the funding for the students on the uh, education level. The education system in India and other foreign countries are structured very differently. In your experience, what can an inbound student uh, can gain by studying with this college? So definitely foreign uh, policy of education policy is different, but uh, as our PM is so much focused, it will just you know reunite uh, the policy of the Indian uh, education system. So that's why uh, since 1947 to 2014, our education system is more towards to the European culture. So now we decided to just more onto the curating, more onto the uh, 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 written basis. So then he decided we make a team just how we can just uh, re-examine it and how we can uh, brainstorm on this sector. So that's why after implementation of any 2020 national education policy, in 2020 they decide a one policy which is more goes to the American system, which always be boost, uh, create a boost to the job creator instead of the job seekers. So that's why that. Uh, one stanza which I always be told by the PM that we want to create a job, create a instead of the job seekers. So that is more towards the any people we want to. What do you think uh, should be the university's top priority over the next 10 years? So uh, next 10 years, the main agenda is that how much uniforms we can create from our uh, institutional level. So that's why my focus area that uh, every student is taking a degree that is only one journey. So what we want to create a some new uh, co-founders from our institution. We want to create a, a journey from idea to IQ. So we are looking for the, in the next 10 years that might be a, a kind of 15 co-founders will be creating and then they can come up with the estate and the national stock exchange in India. Uh, what are some plans uh, you are currently or you will be planning for the students? So as I mentioned in way, uh, my goal is on the collaboration international universities so that all universities are offering their high-end courses, job-ready courses, job global courses on a very cheap uh, uh, subsidized rate in India because as I uh, only pitch them that you're supposed to be, uh, cannot quote the same price which you are uh, giving into the US and Europe. So uh, by luckily the, they understand the uh, all sin of, uh, phenomena of that when they are offering a good kind of courses and uh, as Harappa education is also which is known as the Rolls Royce of the education line they are also uh, in line with the collaboration with uh, us so they are, uh, there is so many universities like the State University of New York come up with the job ready courses Synergy University is offering some of the job ready courses Harappa education is also uh, offering us on courses on the software skills so these kind of the basic and the global scenario which are the so much courses we are trying to implement in our campus. Any suggestion you would like to give to the current youth and aspiring students? I uh, uh, my only suggestion to the students that irrespective of taking a only degree in four years, they want to come up uh, start their journey from first year onward with the ideation level. Because they having first or second year I can say because they having a next two years or three years time uh, limit for to take a risk on their idea because the startup journey always be a uh, take a lessons from the failure because when you are coming with the, so many ideas so out of so far 10 or 20 ideas only one or two ideas will become in the place on the poc and the product level so i can suggest to the student only they can start their journey from the first year to second year and just create a uh, by the fourth year become a founder from our institution thank you, you. 
It was a pleasure talking to you and enjoy your thoughts on education, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you. Sir.